Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on creating a scanner profile. My name is Adrian from Jack Fine Art Printing and in this video I'll be taking you through the basics that are involved in setting this up. We'll be looking at the software that you need, the IT8 target and also how easy is it to actually do once you've got all the bits and pieces. When you start your or when you activate your scanner you probably find that uh, the software that comes with it doesn't give you the option for, for calibrating or profiling your scanner. In this case you may need to either A, upgrade or buy some new software unfortunately. The two biggest suppliers that I could find, that are readily available that I could find are Silverfast and ViewScan. Now Silverfast is a, what they call a modular system in that you buy the software for that particular scanner. Disadvantage being that if that scanner then packs up or you replace it, you then have to buy Silverfast again, which kind of put me off it. With the view scan, um, it comes with a whole range of, of um, scanners already suited for it, uh, and they're constantly updating. But no matter which option you go for, just ch check on both sites to make sure that uh, your scanner is supported. Now with the Silverfast you need to buy the AI Studio 8 version and with the ViewScan you need to purchase the professional version. Both Silverfast and ViewScan <coughs> do provide a demo version that lets you have a little play with them. It doesn't have all the features such as the profiling but at least you can get yourself familiar with how they work before you decide on which option would be best for you. The next thing you'll need is the profiling target. This consists of the target which you can see on, on the left there as well as the, the data disk. This contains all the, the colour measurements which will give, if, either be on a disk or it will be as a download. Now the target is referred to as an IT8-.7-2 or a reflective um, so when you scan your photograph or your art, the light hits the surface and, and has bounced back. It reflects the light off of it. So it's a reflective target that you need. And if you start looking for these targets, you'll see there's two types. There's the stroke one, which is for your slide film, and stroke two, which is for the reflective. So just always make sure that it's the IT8.7-2 reflective that you're getting. Uh, the ViewScan software recommends the targets you get come from this Wolf Faust at www.colorade.ee and Silverfast recommend that you buy their uh, targets from their website at silverfast.com. So once we've got your software and you've got your IT8 target, I'll be showing you how to profile your scanner and for this demonstration I'll be using the ViewScan software with the Wolf Faust uh, IT8 target. Okay, so we, before we start profiling and setting up our scanner, the first thing we need to do is to get the, the data disk set up. So when you put your data disk in, you'll get these files here. The README is basically telling you that this R120804 file is if your scanner on the, on the inside of the lid is black. If the inside lid of the lid of this scanner is white, you need to go onto this extras, and it's this one here with the letter W. So what you need to do here is just click on it, and then decide where it is that you want to save it. In my case, I'm saving it on my C drive. So all you do is just click it over and drag it to where you want it to go. So when we first fire up our view scan software, the first thing we're presented with is this basic screen. And we see up here from the options, we're set to basic, so we just click on the, uh, the drop down menu and select the professional one and it's the professional version that lets us have the calibration software or the profiling I should say. So first thing we need to do is to set the task to from scan to file to profile scanner. I'm going to set the media to colour. On the media size, if I just click on preview now, you 
So I've got my IT8 target roughly in the middle of my scanner flat of my scanner bed, and you can see it's it's cropped a bit off. Now I could move it over, but obviously if I'm scanning larger pieces, I don't want bits being chopped off. I don't know why this software does. It's the only problem I found with it. All I do is just set it from auto to maximum. And that sorts the problem out. The next thing to be aware of is if you've put the target in upside down, if I just zoom in so you can see, if you put the target in upside down or it's and it's not quite straight, don't use the rotation tools and the skew tools to straighten it out. Much better to take the target out, reposition it, and then do another preview. You also notice by setting it to profile scanner, we now get this marching ants border grid. What we need to do now is just line up the grid to match on the IT8 target. So it's best just to do a very quick fit from here and then we can just zoom in to line it all up. So you want to mark, line up these marching ants border with the black border that we have on our target. Okay, so once that's lined up, go on to the next stage. So we set our default folder here, which is where I've put my IT8 data. Now we select color. Now it should in theory turn everything off when you're doing the, the calibration, but just to be on the safe side, I'll just set this to none. The first thing we want to look at now is this scanner ID8 uh, data. This is where we put our file. So we just click on this app button. Now you may notice that straight away that our reference file seems to have disappeared. If we look at this data file from this Dropbox here, we have this .it8, we have a .q60 and a .txt txt. Click on the txt our WR120804W suddenly appears. So we just click on that and click on open. Then we have here is, is the actual scanner profile that we're going to create. The default name is scanner ICC. I like to change this to the month where it was done. Get myself lined up there. And it's important as well to make sure that you leave the dot ICC at the end of the name. Once that's done, we just get on the very top here where we've got File, Edit, Scanner and Profile. Just click on Profile and Profile Scanner. And that's it. It's now created the profile for us. We just click on OK. Just click on the scanner ICC profile, click on that, and there it is there, Feb 2018, click on that, and that's it, our scanner is now profiled. We also have some different options that we have here, um, output colour space, so we can set it to our sRGB or the Adobe RGB, whichever you prefer. A monitor color space. Uh, if if you have a profile for your monitor, you can add it here. If you haven't, um, and you know that your monitor can handle sRGB, no problem. Just leave it sRGB. I've got a profile, uh, so I can load it here. And it will depend on what system, operating system that you have, uh, whether it's an, an Apple or, or a Windows operating system, as to where these profiles are, and. With Apple, it may be library, color sync, profiles. 
So what we do is just click on ICC profile, monitor ICC profile, and we just go to the address where our profiles are. In the Windows operating system, it's on the C drive, Windows, System32, Spool, Drivers, Color. So it's quite buried in a few folders. You may find as well, um, the default name for the, for the profile is, is generic PNP1 for my system. And a quick look through here and I couldn't find it. And just like the IT8 data, this time I want to change it to the ICM. And there it is there. So I just click on there and click save. So now I know that I've got profiled scanner and I'm looking at it through the profile of my monitor. So I'm getting a much more accurate preview of my scans. That's it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and you found this short tutorial very useful. Thank you very much.